What's up guys? Alex here, AJNashville.com. So we are up here at the BMW dealer in Nashville, Tennessee. My assistant is looking at, or was looking at a 435i. I would say it's about 29 degrees out. We were here, actually parked right next to the car. No other cars around it. Um, how long do you think we were outside? 10 minutes 10 15 minutes yeah. 10 15 minutes walking around this car not one guy not two guys but three guys could not get a motherfucker to come out and help us to save our lives now i know it's cold out and i understand that but if you're in the business of selling cars wouldn't you think that you would be outside selling cars <laughs> i mean i know that's a fucked up thought to have um but the funny thing is, is the same experience i had at this bmw dealership when i bought my car Walked in, stood around for 15, 20 minutes. My sales lady was awesome, but it took him a while to find it. it. Took him another 30 minutes to find the car. Came in the second time, same thing. Like I sat there and watched people sitting in their cubicles uh, or in their glass cages, fish tanks, so to speak. And nobody was selling cars. Nobody was on the phone. Nobody was selling cars. Like, is this why salespeople that sell cars don't make any fucking money? Because you guys don't sell cars? Or, I mean, what's the deal? Yesterday, we went to CarMax so he could look at a BMW. Mind you, I've had two broken legs back in 2013. <laughs> the guy says, all right, the BMW's in the back. Go to the back and take a right. There's two golf carts sitting in front of us, okay? I said, hey, can we take one of the golf carts? He looks at me and says, you look like you can walk back there. Let me tell you the restraint it took me to not slap this stupid motherfucker in his face. Like." Both Jim and Jeff were like, oh shit, because they knew what was about to go down. But I held myself, I didn't say anything. It was a fairly chilly day yesterday. Fairly chilly days, me and my legs hurt a little bit more. Walking to the other side of a parking lot to look at a car and basically be told, hey, it's over there. You know, like, what is going on in this world? I mean, people- And then come out there later. Yeah, people can't, like, there's no customer service or what's the deal? Because then he comes out later and said, did you guys find the BMW? And I looked dead at him after we had walked around the BMW and said, no. And he said, it's right over there. Do you see it? And I said, nope. <laughs> and then we walked back to the front. I was half tempted because these people at CarMax don't realize that you could pop the, the thing off the window since it rolls down when you open the car and put it up next to the steering column. I started both the cars. I was half tempted and the only reason why I didn't is because Jeff was with me to take that car and drive it to the front and then get out this way I could walk back to my car. But um, I don't know why it looks like I'm in the passenger seat because I don't have a right-hand drive car. But uh, anyways, I, I'm just curious, like whatever happened to service? Did the internet fuck things up? Did Carvana decide to take over? And it's like, you go out and find your own car? Did people, you, I mean, this guy wants to buy a fucking BMW. Nobody wants to sell him one. He wants to buy, if not a BMW, he wants to buy a Corvette. And now we're talking about BMWs. We're not talking about the cheap BMW. We're talking about a nice one. And yeah, they are lazy as shit, that's for sure. But he wants to buy a BMW and nobody will come out and help him. I pulled up in a new BMW and nobody came out to help. It's just insane. Like, no wonder why car people get a bad rap anymore. I mean, get up, get out and do your job. Let me tell you something. If a client sent me a message and I didn't respond, let me tell you how long I'd have clients because I wouldn't. Um, let me tell you how many complaints I would have. I mean, shit. Uh, they're sitting browsing. They are sitting browsing on the internet. You're 110% right. Um, when I was in there looking at mine, I came knowing what I wanted, told them exactly what I was looking for, gave them the stock number, told them who I was looking for, and everybody's sitting in their little aquariums looking at you flirting with each other like a guy and a girl were sitting there flirting back and forth they're tossing a ball up and down but they're sitting in their aquariums and they won't get out to help anybody to buy a car like this is why you fuckers are broke seriously i know some really great salespeople. i'm not saying that every car person is a broke person or anything like that what i am saying is if you don't get out and do what others won't, you will continue to be a broke dick fucker that doesn't do anything and doesn't make any money. And I'm sorry for using the foul language, but like I said, we went to buy a car. 
the the guy <laughs> the guy that was gonna buy it perfect credit great income I mean shit what else do you want hell he probably would have paid cash for it if he was interested enough but uh you know that's my rant for the day just get out and do your job guys the reason why the robots are replacing you the reason why I'm getting ready to drive by a Carvana which is a fucking vending machine for cars is because you lack the customer experience because you no longer provide the customer with the walk around. Like the, the guy at CarMax should have took us out to look at that M4 and should have pointed out the performance on it, the motor in it, the wheels on it, the, the ground car. effects kit. He the, got the car wrong. He got the car wrong. He looked at the other one we were looking at and he thought that oh, was Oh yeah, the that was the other thing. We looked at a 435 that was sitting there and it wasn't the M4 that we went to go look at. So. You know, it was an opportunity to sell the car. The customer experience is the reason why we're in sales. You provide a customer with a superior experience and they will buy from you. Um, you know, if you don't, then you get Facebook videos like this. You know, and this ain't gonna reach a million people. This isn't gonna make a difference. But guys, if you're in the fucking car world and you're selling vehicles, get your lazy ass up off the seat. And make some money. Make some money. If you aren't making money, Get your ass on the phone. The great thing is, is everybody you know has to have a car. Fucking crazy how that works. Anyways, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. Sorry to rant. It just pisses me off when you go out to buy a fucking BMW M4 and nobody wants to come help you. I mean, shit, we weren't out trying to buy fucking Pentos. So, anyways, sorry not sorry for the bad language. <laughs>